Oh, okay, now there you are. All right. Uh oh, what the heck is that? My phone. Manatee County. Oh, it's a um, emergency alert. Amber alert. Manit. There are some children in a 2016 green Toyota Corolla. I get these amber alerts on my phone. Okay, so that's far away from me, and now I won't be able to see them, kids. I hope they catch those. Get the kids back. All right. All right, now, I've been working on making a mess here, right there. That just proved it, right there. Right there. I made a video last night, and I was showing you on the video. On the video, I was showing on the video, I was painting blue jean fabric. Um, this, this one here, I painted on the video. I painted, the, oh, them dogs are driving me insane. Doesn't take much. Okay, pink and green, and then I painted all around it in black. Now, I decided now that... I'm going to do something different on my next one. This one I painted on the video too, and I've got all of the denim covered. And then this one I painted afterwards. And again, I got all the denim covered, but I decided on my next one, I'm going to actually paint on the denim side, the not the inside of the denim, but on the outside of the denim, it's, I'm going to leave some of the denim show because I think that will look groovy. And groovy is the look we go for. Groovy. All right. Let me see. Let me check something here. Is my... No. Let's come down this way. Okay. Now. So anyhow, so that's how far I have this one, and this one, and this one painted. Now this one, I painted it as well. Here you can see paint, but then you can see also where I stitched on some scraps of fabric. And... Um, this one here is all sequiny fabric on that little piece, and then this piece is purple, like jersey, like they make jersey shirts out of, like sports shirts. And then this is just a piece of more fabric, some kind of heavy, like upholstery. And then this is going to close this way. And so it's going to be like a three-way fold. So after I sewed this stuff on, I sewed some rickrack on there. After I sewed that on, then on the inside, I put, this is a piece of felt. A piece of felt I put on the inside. And then I sewed two swatches of the denim one on either side, which makes pockets. And this will be neat to put like pens and pencils in. Pens and pencils you can put in here on both sides. Isn't that the most awesome thing? And, um, and then I began to put, put some, yeah, beads. This, this one I got kind of off kilter a little bit, and it just doesn't look right. But once I get some more stuff on there, then it I'll make it look right. Because I'm going to still stitch on, like, maybe some pocket, um, buttons. Buttons. And this is my most favorite braid right here. More buttons, more beads, more somethings. This here is an awesome heart. Let me see if I can zoom that in so you can see that awesome heart.
that's all the way in. I don't know if it's even going to show. But it's very Victorian looking. It was a necklace. So I cut off a part of the necklace. I'll put it right under this light. And it's it's like almost like gunmetal. It looks like the metal that's on it. And then with the red gem in the middle of it. And then I took just a part of the chain and then I stitched that on there as well. And so I think that looks really awesome, awesome, like an awesome blossom. Okay, now I gotta zoom back out some more. About Yeah, I'm not like exactly one of those kind of professional computer videographers. And I put some beads here and a little charm. Now this is not finished. And you know, each one of my um, journals is going to be different. Each one is going to be so different than the other. Now see, that's some braid on there. Now, do I want to put that braid there? Then I have this. I like this. Now this, I mean, just for the edge right here. The edge. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. But I'm going to hot glue it on there. I'm going to be a hot gluer. This hot mama going to be a hot gluer. Okay, and so I'm going to hot glue that to the edge. But then I'm going to go back with stitching. I'm going to take thread and stitch the ends and maybe tack it a couple places along the middle because I don't know with where, how this hot glue, although this hot glue is pretty doggone sticky stuff, I don't know if it how that's going to work i don't know how that's going to work but i think because i've hot glued stuff on other stuff and it seems you know stuff on other stuff and it seems to to work pretty good so i'm assuming they say you're not ever supposed to assume i'm assuming that this will that this will work just as good. But like I say, I'm going to stitch it, like tack it in like maybe four places just to be on the safe side. Now, this has got like a seam down the middle of it. Now to me, Bohemian is just so colorful and so sparkly and so, so beautiful. That's all it is. Everything is just gorgeous. And so I have other stuff here. Okay, no, I don't think I want this. I think I want, I think, oh, did I put that back in the bird cage? Just a minute, I'm running to bird cage. I'm going to the bird cage. I'm at the bird cage. I'm opening the bird cage. I'm shutting the bird cage. I'm walking back to mature because I'm done at the bird cage, and I have some more stuff here. <gasps> oh, this, 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 you know, in here I have like beads, like, you know, they're, they're not like bead beads that you can unbead and unstring and stuff. Oh, I don't want that. I want, what, do I want this silver? Or do I want, wait a minute, I thought I saw something gold in, in here. I thought I seen some golden trim. There it is, there it is, there it is. I found it, gold, we're going gold. Going for the gold. Oh, is that long enough? I don't know. Let me see if it's long enough. Oh, <gasps> just long enough. Boy, did I get lucky on that one. So I'm just, um get into that seam there and I'm going to put I'm going to put me some some glue there too okay now went shopping today I looked for that 
I looked for that paper, you know, I was talking about yesterday. Painter's paper that I could use for, like, my background. That was hot. My drop papers. But all they had was, like, real narrow. And I don't want narrow. I want it to be, like, like wide, like two feet wide and use it as drop paper. And I know they make it because I've seen it before. So I'm going to have the hubster bring me up to like Lowe's or somewhere, Home Depot, so I can look there. Or maybe a paint store, but a paint store would probably charge an arm and a leg. I'm running out of arms and legs. So I don't want to pay too much. But um, I think that's what I've decided to do instead of buying a new mat. And um, cause I first was going to buy a new mat. But I talked myself out of it because I decided to get paper instead. Because I can reuse the paper. Although the mat still would be nice. But I talked myself out of it. Okay, now that golden piece down the middle, then I can fluff this back up. Oh, that's pretty. Now see, this is going to go like this. Okay, should I trim that off of there or should I leave that hanging on there? You know what? I'm going to leave that hanging on there and then I'm going to add like a little piece of chain with a some bits and bobs on it, like a couple beads and maybe a charm that will hang right there. Okay, now, let's see, I'm not going to use this one, but I think I'll take, what else do I have that's going to be long enough? That's, I don't want to use that real quick. Oh, I got pretty much of this blue. Oh, yeah. Blue, yeah. Blue, yeah. So what if I put this blue braid around the edge here? You know, each and every one of these journals is going to be so different one from the other. Because I get bored doing the very same thing over and over. And, um... I can't do the same thing over and over. I have always got to do new stuff. And so each one of these are going to be so different. And I am working on the ones that I'm giving away on my little drawing. I've got, I got two more entries today. I got two more entries today. So they're coming right and left. So, and, and I'm giving away at least two. I first was only going to do one. But then, as my mind started changing like it always does, I decided I'm going to give away more than one. But I can't say how many I'm going to give away. The reason being... And you're probably going to think I'm cheap as ever. I don't want to be a cheapskate. But the reason being, I opened this up to international. So I have already got, I think, four of my insert. Um, inserts are from overseas, from people abroad. And so... I'm going to pull the first the first one out and see who wins that one. If it's somebody from abroad, somebody in another country far away, that's going to cost a little bit more cha-ching to send it. Okay, then I'm going to definitely pull one more. Now, if the second winner is also from a, an international country, 
that may be all I can do. And the reason being is because of the cost of the shipping. And, and since I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever born with a silver spoon in their mouth because that'd be a little weird to see your newborn baby come out with a silver spoon in their mouth. But anyway. And so, but if the second one is within the United States, I will pick a third one. If the third one is from the United States, I will pick a fourth one. Now that's as far as I'm going to go is four. And because I'll be able to do that. I'll be able to afford that. I'll be able to pay the shipping and send them off. And and I don't want to sound like a cheapskate because I don't want to be a cheapskate. I, you know, I get so many beautiful things in the mail. And I think by sending things out, I'm paying it forward. And I like doing that. But, um, but... Either you're going to be rich in money or you're going to be rich in friends and love. And, well, I am rich in friends and love, so the money is just going to have to be. And you know how much money I have? Just enough. I have just enough. That's how much I have. Just enough. So who could even want any more than that? got a roof over my head. I've got people who love me. I got family and friends. And oh, look at that. I like that with that frame around like that. That's nice. So, so I may send out as many as four. And like I say, it will depend on it will depend on the where I'm shipping to. Because I can't do more than two internationals. Because I've learned that it's a little bit pricey. Now look at that. See, now with that, now that's beginning to look even more bohemian, isn't it? I like this. Now, I'm not real sure about the fasteners. Today, I bought, um, just a minute, I'm rich. Yeah. <laughs> Today, I bought these at the, over to the Walmart. And these are actually for ponytails for, for somebody to pull the hair all up. But these ones are extra large ones. My daughter buys extra large ones because her hair is so thick. And she has to use extra large ones to put her... Let me see if that make a tag out of it. She buys extra large ones because her hair is so thick. So I... But see what the size is? And I'm thinking that would make a good size for a closure. And it does. Right here it feels a little bit wag wag waggy on there. But once the, there's no signatures in here yet. There's no inserts in here yet. So um, so once the inserts are there, that would fit really, really, really good. Okay. But then I also may do some of them with snaps. Like I did this little one the other day. I put snaps on it. Now I've opened and closed this here little passport size. Oh no, this is not a traveler's journal because this one I sewed the in the the um it's this is more of a junk journal because I sewed the pages in the um the signatures. So but I put these snaps on and I got black snaps and white snaps. And those are nice. I do like those. So some of my journals will have 
some of my journals will have, um, gosh, I love this fuzzy stuff. Some will have snaps. Some will have this kind of closure. Now, if it comes with this kind of closure, the closure will be attached to the middle of the back, and it will most likely have charms hanging from it, some kind of a bojangle hanging from it. This is going to have a bojangle hanging from the top. So there's going to be another, it might even hang right here. It'll clip on, so you'll be able to clip it, take it off afterwards. But right now, my main concern is to work on getting four journals done, which actually I've gotten way more than four covers done because I've done them differently. Some of them are all just patchwork like like let's see like this one whoops whoopsie whoopsie like this one and I put four inserts in this one this one I did a little bit differently that I have the inserts in because I have these hair bands on there too and there's four of them but I have I don't got them around the back I just stitched them to the top and the bottom they're stitched on there so and then see the bojangles that'll be on them are going to be just clipped so you can unclip them and get them out of your way now this one I don't have a pot. Actually, you could put pens in there. This one's the pot. This one, the pocket's different. Each one is going to be so different from the other because that's what I do is I change my mind. And, oh, see, that fits really nice. But you know what I, I thought about on this one? Because when you see all the edges of the of the insert. I was thinking, why don't I take like a piece of fabric, stitch it or glue it along the edge right here. Let that piece of fabric be out here about five inches, four inches. And that you would take that piece of fabric then and flip it over here before you close it. Then that fabric, something that matches here, then that fabric would cover these. And then if you were just to stick something in a page, you wouldn't lose it. Gosh, my hubster again. Wait a minute. Let's see what he has to say. His ringtone. You hear that? Off of that's that. What, what's his name? Fred Sanford. Hello, darling. Hello? Hello? Are you there? On hold. Oh, somehow I got him on hold. Hello? Hey, baby, get rid of them dancing boys. I'm coming home. <laughs> okay. I'll send him. I'll send him out the window. Okay. Okay. Well, you don't have to shut him out the window. They got plenty of time to just walk out the door. Oh, okay. All right. I'll send him Chippendales on out. Okie dokie. Now, you be real careful on your way home. I will, baby. Yep. I love you. There's a lot of old people out there on the road. Oh, that's right. That's you. Okay. Love you, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, sweetie. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Yeah, that's the hubster. He, he always tells me, you know, to get rid of them Chippendales because he's on his way home. And so then I do. I get rid of all the Chippendales. He's just cute. He's just cute. So anyhow, yeah, see, I've got each one is different. Now, this one here is all like patchworky. And then this one also is very patchworky. Got flowers on there. Got stuff. This one I haven't done anything to the inside yet. And then this one is 
See, I work on, I keep going back and forth working on them. So they have different things on them. Different, each one has different things on them. Here's, I got some strung beads and charms. And some beads up there, little flowers. There's a cluster of buttons. And this one I've just, this one here I just have the, um, just the patchwork done on it. And then I stitched some rope around. I made the rope and then stitched it around. And I kind of like that. And that one still needs a lot of, of work. But let me see. See, now here I've been making, I have, I have found these like hair, ties. There's there's actually two hair ties in one. They're attached together. So I bought them and thinking that maybe I really don't like the look of that on the outside though. I think that looks pretty. I guess it doesn't look so bad. But um but then I've been making a few I've been making a few, um, like, like, okay, this is a junk journal insert. Oh, I don't have this all stitched together or anything yet. But there's going to be, see, when I do that other one, I should, yeah, let's shut them, shove them back in there because they're not worth showing anybody yet. But see, this shows, this puts two two bands on the inside which you can actually use take use two bands but actually add more add more inserts even with two bands but see the other one that one I just showed you wherever I put it I put the bands like this and then I stitched them I put them like this and then I stitched them so they're just on the inside so you actually got four bands inside to attach the um, inserts to so I don't know that one I'm still on the I'm still on the fence about that one but this one still needs I just showed you this much more and then once I get a little bit more I just want you to see what you're doing when you're sending in your your um when you're sending in your your inserts for the drawing I want you to see what you're getting so this doesn't really show you what you're getting because you may not get this one but I love this fur on here I love it I love it I think so oh I like it I love it I want some more of it but I like using these little bits and bobs of pieces of jewelry. I've got more that I just dropped all of them in the floor. I got to pick them up. But there's going to be buttons, maybe some flowers. Maybe you put a flower or button here. And, and I overdo everything. So be expecting it to be overdone. Because that's what I do. And then, oh, then I have these couple. Of, I have two of these, which is like a belt. And this belt, I had just these in my like stash. This is like a belt that you could belt it on, belt, belt it on, belt, belt it shut. But the neat thing about this is, it's got a whole bunch of holes on the back that I could put beads on. I think it's supposed to be on like a wristlet or something, and then you make, you make something out of it. But it, I got two of them, and so two of them are probably going to go there. And so, but what I'm going to do after my drawing, I'm not going to even concentrate on until the drawing, which the drawing's on November the 1st. Then I'm going to start adding, adding these to the Etsy store. Now, when you, I don't have an Etsy store. Actually, I started one, but I don't have anything in it. And, um. But then I'm going to put them in the Etsy store, and that's where I'm going to make my first million dollars. I'll be rich. Then I'll be rich. I'll have a million dollars. Just selling these. But, um, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't take me seriously. And so, but I think these will be fun. Now, 
so the winner gets, of course, the book, a bracelet, something like this one, and um, the charms that hang, the Bojangles, and who knows. And, but the signatures, the, the inserts that are inside of it are going to be taken from the inserts that I have gotten in the mail that have been sent for the drawing. Four of those inserts are going to go in each one that I give away. Four inserts from people who have who have entered. And I have had I have asked everybody to sign their insert in the back so that when the winners get these books, they can look at the back page of each insert and see who made that particular insert. And I have gotten inserts, some that are very, very plain, and some that are, oh my gosh. So when you get your book, the winner gets a book, or the or or when I start selling them too, there's going to be four inserts one of them is going to be like a junk journal, a junk journal. One of them is going to be very plain that has plain white paper in for drawing or sketching. One of them is going to have like a paper in it that you would like graph paper or lined paper or something that you can, that you can, you know, that you actually journal on, that you actually journal. And then the fourth one is going to be, it's going to have like pockets and places you can tuck memorabilia in. And that's what made, because of the pockets for the memorabilia is why I thought that maybe like this one wouldn't need to have that extra piece that covers up the pages because this is going to close them all in nice and tight and they'll be secure. But the ones that I have made that will just close thusly, you know, like this, then the, them being open on the edge, I think I'm going to make some kind of a security blanket you know, that will cover over the pages. And I think that will work nice for that. I keep, I and you know, as each day I come up with something new, I'm so excited about these. I love making them because there's no rules. The only rule I have is, is the size. The inserts I'm having, the inserts I'm getting are eight by eight folded in half. And for those of you that don't know about a traveler's journal, the inserts just fit in these straps. Then when your insert is filled up, if that particular journal page or whatever is filled up or that sketchbook is filled up, you just pull it out and put in another one. And because they're so simple to make, all you need is four or five or six, whatever, eight by eight pages, fold them in half, staple them down the middle, and there you have it. And so, I mean, you can go buy them off of different places and pay an arm and a leg if you've got extra arms and extra legs. But um, you can make them that easy. But that's, that now, and you don't have to go traveling far to need, need this journal. This journal will fit in your pocket, in your purse or your backpack. And um, you might be just traveling to the Piggly Wiggly or the Kroger's or the Win Dixie or the Walmart. That's a travel. You'll have your you'll have your little book. You might have coupons in it. You'll have your maybe you'll have a list in there. And maybe you'll have some telephone numbers. I don't know what you have in there. But when you pull it out of your puppet purse, people are gonna say, Whoa, that's pretty. Where'd you get that? That's what they're gonna say. All right, I'm gonna let you go now because I've kept you about a half an hour now. And um and I'm gonna continue working on these now that my husband's home. And I gotta run the Chippendales off now that he's on his way home. I gotta tell all the Chippendales that they gotta leave. And so he's so funny. He just is so funny. But anyhow. Okay. 
I just want to say I love you guys. Look what I bought. I bought a couple of these. Well, actually, I bought six of these fine line mark, pen, fine tip, fine line applicators. You can put glue in them. You can put paint in them. But I'm putting paint. This is the only one I've done so far is put black in it. And But there's somebody I watch and I can't think. Oh, the Mary, Mary Artelier something. She does artwork and she uses these a lot in, in her little artwork. And she really does a fine job with them. And that's why I bought them is so that I could do like she did. So I'm going to put different color of paints in them. I want red in one. I want white in one. And um, I'm not sure. I bought, bought six just because I always buy at least half a dozen of everything. But, um, and that's what I used on that one. Well, wherever it went, I had that other one. But I used it on one of them. See, I don't even know where I just put that. But anyway, okay, you guys come back again. And I do love you. I love you dearly. Thank you so much for, um, so much. Thank you for stopping by and checking, checking things out here. I like to know that you're all okay. So leave me a comment. And um, if any of you that are watching have got people in the islands that have been so I just I just can't imagine I just can't imagine having everything you need to live one day and then overnight it is gone and you're walking in waist deep water it I just can't fathom that in my mind and so all I know to do is pray for their safety and for their comfort somehow. I know they'll pull together. I know they'll pull together and they'll make things work. And I believe I believe that I heard that our president is making sure that there's going to be, be um, help going down there. Puerto Rico, I mean, we are so close to Puerto Rico. We have a lot of poor Puerto Rico people that live here from, and they still have so much family down there. I feel so bad for them. But anyway, I guess everybody does. But anyway, I want to thank you for coming by, and I want to say I love you, and I pray for you all. I um, May God watch over every step you take, every move you make, and you have a good day. Come back the next, I'll have another video soon, probably tomorrow, because I'm addicted to this videography. And so anyway, love you guys, and because of you, I'm happy. Okay, but I'm looking for my, oh, there it is. I was looking for my mouse. It was there right in the mouse trap. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.